Hey what's going on guys, Nick here with a quick news update regarding Marvel and Deadpool and how to integrate that character into the MCU. So according to Brett Lang, one of the executive editors of Film at Variety, it seems like Marvel Studios internally is still debating over whether or not Deadpool can move seamlessly between R-rated solo films and PG-13 rated MCU movies which would be kind of team up films or other character movies like Spider-Man or Thor or something like that. And this all comes in the wake of Bob Iger's comments yesterday during their quarter 3 earnings call. During that call, Iger made sure to reaffirm that X-Men, Deadpool, and Fantastic Four are back under the control of Marvel Studios and in Kevin Feige's toy box. But it seems like with Deadpool specifically, they are still trying to figure out how to approach that character, because really you could go both ways with it. And personally, I think that they should do a balance between R and PG-13 for his solo films and then for other teams up films or for other appearances in general when he would show up in other MCU films. Like for instance, if he did appear in a Thor 4 or a Spider-Man movie or something, he'd obviously have to be PG-13, he couldn't be swearing and cutting people's heads off and things like that because they'd have to keep the general tone and flavor of that movie. But what are your guys' thoughts on this? Do you think that Deadpool needs to be R-rated to work or could he seamlessly move between the ratings depending on what film he's in? We recently heard from Deadpool 2 to director David Leach that he doesn't actually think that the character needs to be already to work on film, which I can kind of agree with because when I think about it, the Deadpool comics were never really rated R, I think they just went that way for the movie and stuff because it worked for that. But I don't necessarily think they need to go for the R rating, but I'd be curious to see what you guys think. I personally like the R rating, but I don't know if it's necessary 100%. But like I said, drop your thoughts down below, and for more updates on everything Marvel and pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.